What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And today let's check out a South Park episode that you highly recommended from season five. This is Butter's very own episode. Let's do this. All right, Mom, I'm all done wrapping Dad's anniversary present for you. Oh, is it someone's anniversary soon? <laughs> oh, you. Just kidding. Oh, I wonder what it is. How about on Saturday we all go have dinner at Bennigan's? Bennigan's? Oh, boy, you mean it? Whoopee, at Bennigan's. I'm going to get the right hand baby back ribs. Oh, Butters. He got that excited over a Bennigan's. He is not a hard child to please. Calm down there, cowboy. You've still got four days. Four days? Oh, I don't know how I'm going to wait that long. <laughs> Who's the boy that can laugh at a storm cloud, turn a frown into a smile for free? Who's the kid with a heart full of magic? Everyone knows it's Butters. That's me. Who's that rascal with the tweezers in his pocket? Everyone knows it's Butters. What? If you look inside yourself, you might be surprised when you find a little boy named Butters. Well, that's, that's me. Yeah. That's my first time hearing that whole song. Well, if you two will excuse me, I need to go out and buy a certain special lady her anniversary present. Every year it's the same. Your father gets me some great gift, and my gift to him falls short. I've just got to outdo him this year. I've just got to. Dad's a good shopper, all right. Maybe you could secretly follow your dad and see what he's getting me. You remember when the nice policeman gave you a badge and made you an honorary inspector? Sure I do. I think Inspector Butters could find out what Daddy's getting Mommy without him ever knowing. Inspector Butters is on the case, ma'am. If you haven't seen the South Park episode City Sushi... I highly recommend it. Please check it out. You gonna get your wife's gift from a pawn shop? Fisting Fireman 9, Mr. Stotch? Hmm, Dad's going to see a movie. How nice. Not the White Swallow. White Swallow Bathhouse. Oh, jeez. I'm back, Ma. Did you hear that little dun 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 dun? It's not exactly the same, but I know that's supposed to be like the jingle from that old TV show, Leave It to Beaver. So it's like a black and white TV show, well before my time. But for some reason, I used to watch a lot of old black and white TV reruns. Dad sure had a nice night out. Well, did you see what he got me for our anniversary? Well, first, he went to see a movie. It was that really old theater downtown, the Stud Cat. And I didn't even know it was open. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. What was the movie called? Fishing Fireman 9. I never seen one through eight. Oh no. It, it must have been a sad film too because he had a bunch of tissue paper with him when he came out. Oh, Poor no. dad. Movie really got to him. Oh but no. Where did daddy go after the movie? To the gym. Yeah, the White Swallow Spa. <laughs> yeah, he went there and he wrestled with all kinds of guys. Butters is just spilling all the beans. He went there and he wrestled with all kinds of guys. He wasn't too good, though. This one black guy had him pinned down for 15 minutes straight. <laughs> I even got some neat old pictures. No. Oh, no. The only thing I can't figure out is why Dad told you he was going shopping for your present when he was going out seeing movies and wrestling. Oh, oh did you have a nice trip, Ma? Oh. Paint. Must paint. Everything clean. Poor lady. Everything new! Say, Butters, I'm having real trouble finding an anniversary present for Mom. Any ideas? Hmm, I can't think of one. Well then, it looks like I'm gonna have to go out shopping again. Ma, paint! Everything clean! <laughs> everything new! Paint! 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 Oh, she's losing it! clean! Hey, a new paintbrush. That's what Dad could get Mom for their anniversary. <clears throat> I gotta go tell him. Must clean Butters. Clean. Must. Kill. Must kill Butters. Why would you want to kill but Butters? That's me. What's happening? For one, please. I got two thirteen. Thanks. You just let him in? Hello? Anybody in here? There, do you think that works? Well, that's Fuller's Tangers, just has. What did he say? There, do you think that works? Well, that's Fuller's Tangers, just has. I just heard the four fingers part. Oh, goodness. Uh, Mr. Garrison? Who is that? You wrestling in here? Dad? This room's taken. Oh, uh, pardon me, sirs. And Butters is just exposed to it! Ha! Ah, Butters! Hi, Dad! I'm glad I found you. I think I know the perfect anniversary present for Mom. What are you doing with your wiener out there, Dad? Butters, you would need to leave here right now. Go home and wait for me to talk to you. Oh, all right then. We'll see you at home. Oh, what have I done?
I want to talk to you about lying. Oh, I know lying's bad, Dad. You told me so. Yes, it sure can be. Sometimes telling a little white lie is okay. For instance, when you catch your father jacking off in a gay man's bathhouse. <laughs> uh, who's Jack? Butters, the point is that if you told Mommy what Daddy was doing tonight, well, she might go completely insane. I already told Mom, and she's fine. You what? Butters, Mommy wants to take you for a little drive now. Don't go, Butters. Oh, no. Butters, you know that Mommy loves you an awful lot, don't you? Well, hair. sure I do, Mom. I love you, too. And sometimes mommies do things that seem hurtful to their babies, but it's really for the best. Oh, you mean like the time you washed my mouth out with soap for saying nutsack in front of Grandma? If a mommy has to end her life, she can't let her baby alone in the world to be raised by a sick pervert. Well Wait a minute, wasn't this based on a real case? Like, I can't remember who it was or when it was exactly, but wasn't there a mom who put her kids in the car and then let that car go into into a lake or something? If you remember the details of that case, let me know in the comments. I'm going to get out of the car now, Butters. I want you to stay put with your seatbelt fastened. No! Oh, well, all right, Mom. Okay, then. What? You know, I think the car might be moving, Mom. Yep, I'm pretty sure the car's moving. Looks like I'm heading for the water. It looks like the car's filling up with water. And he's not gonna get out? You know, it might be a good time to come back inside the car and drive, Mom. Everyone knows it's Butters. That's me. What are you doing? Stay away from me, bastard! I would chat with other married guys in the chat rooms and, well, the things they would talk about, Linda. I, I don't know why I found it exciting. I just did, and it, and it grew from there and spun out of control, and... You don't have to worry about your family being in your way anymore! No, Linda, I don't want that lifestyle. Give me a chance to make this all up to you. We can have a normal life. There is no going back, Chris! I drowned Butters in the car, Chris! Oh, Butters! This can't be happening. This is a bad dream. I'm a murderer, Chris. I don't have a life now. I won't let you go to jail, I promise. Linda, please. Ah. Ah. The turn that this episode has taken. You have gone from leave it to beaver to killing your son? Oh, it's floating. Oh, boy, this thing ain't never gonna stop. Oh, whoopee. Now that the car has come to a stop, it's safe for me to unfasten my seatbelt. Mom must be worried sick about me right now. I gotta get back home. Tom, I'm standing in front of the home of Chris and Linda Stotch. They're living every parent's nightmare right now. While Miss Stotch was driving with her son in the car, a man stopped her, put a gun to her head, and took her son away. When asked who the man was, Miss Stotch replied, some Puerto Rican guy. That jogs my memory even more. In, in the real case, the lady who did it, if I'm not mistaken, I think she blamed it on, on a black man. Mrs. Stotch, what did the kidnapper look like? Puerto Rican. Was he tall? Short? He was average Puerto Rican height. Please just bring our baby back to me. But well, that's me. <laughs> back to me. Anyway, boy, sure and lucky you came along, mister. Yeah, too bad you're not abroad, because I need some goddamn poontang. Yeah, I could use some goddamn poontang myself right now. But you don't even know what poontang is. <laughs> yeah, I could use some goddamn poontang myself right now. <laughs> Have you ever been to Bennigan's, mister? Oh, it sure is, Crate. I'm going to Bennigan's tomorrow night with my family. Dad will open his present, Mama will open hers. And then the Bennigan's waitstaff will sing. Happy, happy anniversary from everyone at Bennigan's. Happy, happy anniversary from everyone at Bennigan's. <laughs> happy, happy. Oh, are we stopping for sodas? Hey, can I get chocolate milk? He must like TGI Fridays. I'd take TGI Fridays over Bennigan's. Out of the restaurants that are kind of in that price tier, like Applebee's, uh, Olive Garden, Outback Steakhouse, Ruby Tuesday, Bennigan's, TGI Fridays, which one are you picking? Let me know in the comments. Hello? Oh, hello. Uh, who is this? Who I'm is this? Club. Uh, is this the Stotch residence? Yes, are you calling about the abduction? No. Are you Puerto Rican? No. Call back another day. Two more parents from the next town over have shown up saying their child might have been killed by the same guy that took the Stodge boy. This is John and Patsy Ramsey from Boulder. The John Benet Ramsey case? We saw your story on the news. We're so sorry to hear about your loss. The man that murdered your son must be the same person that killed our daughter. <laughs> because we certainly didn't do it. No. <laughs> oh, no. Are you laughing? Our son was abducted. We don't know that he's dead yet. Right. I had to get to South Park. If you give me a ride, I can pay you the $4 I made at their titty bar. How'd you make that? 
I can't wait till Sunday. I'm meeting with my family at Bennigan's tomorrow. Well, then, looks like you're walking. That rod leads to Conifer. If you want to go to South Park, you got to go down that rod. <laughs> Used to be the way to the O'Reilly house. He butchered over 50 children and kept their bodies in a cellar. But you should find an old bridge about halfway up. That bridge is cursed, you know. They built it with the bones of 200 Chinese laborers who were massacred in 34. Yeah, a lot of history on that rod. What? You just gotta let oh, the little boy go. Thank goodness we have each other to share our grief. John, Patsy! Chris and Linda, this is our good friend, Congressman Gary Condit. He also lost someone close to him and thinks it has something to do with the same Puerto Rican guy that hurt our kids. Why does he look like that? Oh, here's another member of our support group, OJ. Hey, guys. Chris, Linda, you know OJ Simpson. Oh, sure. OJ's wife was killed by the some Puerto Rican guy, too. No, she was not. Yep, it was some Puerto Rican guy, all right. There are people like you all over the country who've been affected by some Puerto Rican guy. Let's make Chris and Linda an official part of the group. Us. Gobble, 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 one of us. What is that one from? What is that Google, from? Gobble, 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 one of us, one of us. So I would not be walking down that road. <laughs> the predator? Oh, nutsack. You can't now say that the abductor was Costa Rican. You have to learn to keep it straight. I can't keep it straight when you keep inventing new parts to the story. Your lies started all this. Happy anniversary. Not now, Butters. Butters. Son, I don't believe it. The car just rolled into the lake and then floated all the way down the road. I oh, my home, baby's but it didn't work. back. I ain't grounded, am I? No, no, Butters. We're going to need you to tell a little white lie about where you've been, though, all right? You have to say that a Puerto Rican man dropped you off. Now I am sick of these harmless lies and little white lies. You know, you can call a shovel an ice cream machine, but it's still a shovel, Mom and Dad. And you can call a lie whatever you want, but it's still a no-good stinking lie. And when you start covering up one lie with another lie, why, well, that's when you get into real trouble. Tell him, Butters. You're as right as rain. You sure are. You're the best son in the whole world. Our son has been returned to us. Butters was missing? But <laughs> That's messed up. We've learned that deception is wrong and that the only thing to ever make it right again is to come clean. Yeah! I was going to gay movie and bathhouses and having sex with random men who were complete strangers. Yes! Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and when I found out, I went crazy and I drove my son into the lake to kill him. Uh, kill me? Jesus Christ! There was no some Puerto Rican guy. He doesn't exist. And so the people we owe the biggest apology to are the Ramses, Congressman Condon, and OJ. We gave you false hope for finding the person who hurt those close to you, and we're sorry. For I knew that even though some of you supported us, some others were looking at me and thinking, You're a liar! You know something that you're not telling us, you slimy scumbag liar! And then people would see my wife in the supermarket, and they would say, Hello. But they'd be thinking, MURDERER! You got away with murder, you <laughs> murdering, zoom. lying waste of life! The zoom in! LIAR! Tell us what you know, you goddamn liar! <laughs> and so to both of us, people all over town would be saying things like, You know goddamn well what happened to your kid, <laughs> so stop acting like victims and confess, you murdering murderers! <laughs> confess! LIAR! <laughs> CONFESS! <laughs> You know, and that's what people would be saying to us. And now if you'll excuse us, this family has to get to Bennigan's. Wow, dude, your dad's a perv and your mom tried to kill you. Yeah. Boy, you fellas sure are gonna rip on me in school now. We sure are. Oh well, when I have a chipotle blue cheese bacon burger at Bennigan's, I forget all about my dad being queer and my mom trying to kill me. I'm gonna be okay. Really? No, I'm lying. Let's go, Whoa. son. Oh, uh, coming, Dad. Everyone knows it's butter. That's me. Butters can't even get any love on his very own episode. That was an awesome recommendation. It was so funny. It was so dark. If you have any more, please let me know in the comments. And I also wanted to say thank you so much. We recently hit 6,000 subscribers and I really, really appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.